Hey everyone, how are you doing? You have Mike here, and today we're going to take a look at this Inkbird ITC306T controller. So this here is an aquarium heater controller. So as you guys know, aquarium heaters fail all the time. If you've been in this hobby for any amount of time, you're going to know at least one, two, or three people that have had a heater fail and it's caused problems with their tank. Um, that's something that we're trying to eliminate. We don't want to have to worry about any more different issues. Um, so something like that is important to us. Now, I've talked about getting a, a aquarium controllers for, for a while on the channel. Um, I actually use other Inkbird products, so this isn't something that's new to me. Um, Inkbird isn't a company that is, that's just I've just heard of. Um, this is something that you guys have been using for years, and uh, you've shared with me multiple times. So um, it's something that I've always wanted to get. Like, I do have other controllers, like I was stating, um, but I want an aquarium one. So here we go. We have it. Inkbird has sent this over to me. Um, and they've also given us a 20% promo code. Um, so if you guys are looking for a heater controller, you guys can have one as well at 20% off, which is a pretty big discount, guys. So I'm pretty happy with Inkbird. Uh, and once again, I'd like to say on, on camera, thank you very much for, for uh, giving us such a big promo code for, for our subscribers. They're really going to appreciate that. I know I personally do. Um, so I want to say thank you. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use it on this tank behind me. So I've got some pygmy grommies in there, um, and they're really cool fish. They actually have an organ on in their body that um, allows them to breathe in air, um, and it really gives them a cool ability to croak. Now, one of the things is they really need kind of a stable tank with the warm water up at the top, especially so they can develop that organ. So it's kind of important that I do have a stable aquarium temperature um, in that tank. So this is the tank that I'm going to put this unit on. So what we're going to do is take this into the other room and we're going to get a shot on how to set it up. So we're going to give you a close in detail video on how to set it up because there's some really cool features on this. Um, so it even has a nighttime mode so you can have two separate temperatures, a daytime temperature and a nighttime temperature. Um, so it's, there is a little bit more to this. Um, and that basically gives you the ability to you know, mimic Mother Nature a little more. You know, at nighttime, the sun goes down, the water cools off a little bit. Um, and that's what we're going to be able to, uh, to do with this controller here, which is really neat. So let's go in the other room. Let's get this all programmed. And uh, we'll get it back and we'll set it up on the tank. All right, guys. So here we have a close-up of the Inkbird uh, ITC306T. So I just wanted to point out here that these this is a very uh, solid and sturdy unit. These cords are very thick. Um, and the cords are nice and stiff on them. Um, it also has a five foot long cord. So this here is the temperature of the probe. Um, and this here is the temperature that it's currently set to running. So I'm gonna fully cover this and go over it because it, there are two different setting modes, um, like I was saying earlier. So the first setting mode is just running as a normal controller. Um, and then there's also a time. So if you want it to have two separate heating temperatures, so how we're going to do this is we're going to hold the select button here, the set button for three seconds. Two, three. Okay, so now we're going to get to TS1. Uh, so TS1 is going to be our temperature that we would like to have it set to. So 25 degrees is where I would like it, so 25 is going to be set. Now DS1 here is asking for the difference that you want between your uh, heaters clicking back on So I think 0.5 of a degree is is good enough for me for my heater to turn back on Some people might want this a little more, but for me, I'm gonna leave it here So CA is a calibration uh, So if you have a digital thermometer uh, And you notice that the ink bird was off you could either set it uh, You know a degree or two whatever you notice uh, and calibrate it so that it's set accordingly so this here is a difference between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And we're going to leave this at Celsius because we are here in Canada and this is what we use. Uh, so now the next one here is the setting of what I was talking about earlier for the nighttime mode. So let's take a look at the nighttime mode. So what I'm going to do is just click over to 1, which is nighttime mode. And it's asking me to set the nighttime temperature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it here at 20 degrees because I think 20 is cool for this test. Um, and I know that our sensor should turn off uh, just by the probe and what the temperature was reading. So we're going to leave it at 20 degrees Celsius. Now it's asking me the difference between temperatures. So I think that we should go probably closer to the other one. And we'll go with 0.5 with that one as well. 
Okay, so it's asking me the time that I would like this to turn on. What time does it think the daytime is? So I'm gonna make the daytime at eight o'clock in the morning. I'd like it to run back on the 25 degree temperature. Uh, so this is asking me for the minute. Uh, 8 a.m. is what we wanted it. Now it's asking me to, to show the nighttime. So I want nighttime to start at like six, six o'clock. So 1800 hours, minute hand once again. Uh, so now it's asking me what time is it right now? So I'm gonna trick it. I want us to believe that it is six o'clock and or five o'clock in the morning. Um, and when I do that, uh, this little light here is going to stay off. So this is asking me the minute for five o'clock in the morning, and we are going to set this. So as you can see, the light here is staying off. That means that it's trying to cool back off. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just for an example here, I'm gonna turn the light back on by just switching it back to normal controller mode because as we set up the temperature, it was up to 25 degrees, which is what we wanted it, right? So let's switch this over. We're gonna go back and program this to a 0.5, calibration zero Celsius turn off this now we're gonna save it here so when we save this here we could see that the light turned on immediately uh, so that means that it's just running under normal controller mode and you can see the work light here is on as well so yeah this is pretty much it guys what we have to do now is go set this up on the aquarium and get the heater plugged into it so let's go get that done That's awesome guys. I would like to thank everybody for watching. It's greatly appreciated. Um, if you're looking for one of these devices, uh, be sure to check out our promo code for 20% off. Um, once again, thank you very much for watching. It has been really appreciative over the years. Uh, so many people have just stayed with us and uh, have watched over just so many videos and so many views. Um, it's, uh, it's really mind blowing. So once again, thank you guys all very much. Uh, thank you for your support and uh, you guys all have yourself a, uh, a great day. Thank you.